We're here finding the cheapest snacks at Disney World. So you know what to prioritize on your next Disney vacation. Let's go. We are here in Disney's Animal Kingdom to find out what the cheapest snacks are here in this park. We're also going to be trying them and telling you if we think these snacks are worth your money and where you can find them on your next trip to Walt Disney World. Now, I love Pandora, well, because it's based off of the uh, very popular James Cameron movie, uh, Avatar. But our first cheap snack is here in Pandora. So we're heading over to Pangu Pangu. So we got the Pongo Lumpia. It looks like flaky and interesting, but something is telling me based on, off of Miranda's reaction when we talked about this, that uh, it's, it, it might not be. So <laughs> see what happens. Uh, do you want to do the honors of, uh, of, of, of ripping it, it and ripping it in half? Sure. Wait, let's see, is it, is it, is it gooey? What's, what's the deal? What's happening? Well, it's gonna be a little bit of, a little bit of messy. A little bit of messy. A little bit of messy. Oh, oh, uh-oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't kidding. Oh, this was a this panic, was a bad panic, choice. Panic. <laughs> hey, that's not bad. That's not that's bad. That's not bad. Wow, okay. it's, there's a lot of cream cheese Lots in of there. Cream cheese, uh, and it, yes, it is sugar on top. Okay, warm cream cheese and pineapple cream and flaky. All right, here we you go. You go first. I'm, I'm excited. Oh, do I get the part with the most cream cheese? Or the oh, oh no. Huh? Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is the best way to describe it. It's good. Um, it's creamy deliciousness in there with the pineapple. It makes it a little bit sweet. There's sugar on top. I really like it, but I understand why people won't because of the warm cream cheese. That's not everybody's uh, cup of tea. Oh, so you do like it. I do like it. Oh, the way, was, why were you being weird? Because I wasn't sure if you would like it. Oh, I actually, I actually don't mind it. Okay. This feels like a really nice breakfast mm -hmm. treat. It, it is, it's, it's just simple enough that it just makes it good. I mean, I thought the cream cheese would be too heavy, but the uh, the pineapple uh, kind of like cuts through it, the it cuts uh, the acidity. It cuts it cuts through the cheese. All right, uh, one out of five. Okay. Is it is is this worth the price? Uh, like everything involved, I mean, it, it flavor, uh, the the size, um, how it makes you feel. <laughs> is it worth the three seventy nine? Okay, all right. All right, all right. Go, well, one out of five. Okay. Five being absolutely yes. Okay. One being no way, not in a million years. Okay. Three, two, one. I did four. Oh, you went four. I, three. I went three. Why four? I, I like it. Um, it's simple. It's easy. It's light. I think others would enjoy it. Uh, if you can get, if you enjoy like a warm cream cheese. It is a, it's not everybody's uh, cup of tea. Yeah, I put a three up just because it was smaller than I expected. It is small. Like I, I saw it on, I saw it in the in the wrapping, and I took out the wrapping, and I took it from the wrapping. And was like, oh, that's like I thought. I thought the pastry went all the way down through the entire wrapping. Now, trust me, we get it. Uh, eating at Disney World can be a super expensive with with all the costs of just you know, the tickets and the the transportation and, and and the hotel stays, resort stays. We get it. So uh, you know. You know, here's a helpful tip in case, you know, you're trying to save some money, especially on food, which is, uh, I guess, first tip is, I don't know, bring your own food. Up next, we are here in Africa, right at the very back, pretty much. Uh, there is Kilimanjaro Safaris, and right here is the Hirambe Fruit Market. And here we are getting the grilled corn on the cob. This is my absolute favorite snack, besides Dole Whip, here in Disney's Animal Kingdom. You can get it uh, with or without the African spices. Which one are you doing? Can we get the African spices? Yes. Thank goodness, thank goodness. All right, perfect. Uh, you can get that for $5.29. If it's not spicy, it's not pricey. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got the delicious corn. Wow, this is insanity. This looks so good. This is my favorite snack in Animal Kingdom besides the Dole Whip. Okay, I guess we should try it, right? Go for it. All right, here we go. I don't even know how to get into here. Oh my, it's so good. It's so good. Like, the butter and the spices and it's messy. It's like, it reminds me of like street corn. It's like African street corn. Mm -hmm. It is so good and so much flavor and I'm really impressed. And like, who eats corn to the cob at Disney World? 
We all do. Um, but this is the reason why. I'm super impressed with the flavors. I I will be getting this again. Absolutely. 100%. For me, I love it. It's delicious. Uh, the butter, the melted butter all over the top. Like they Ugh. grill it. They pull it off the grill as you're ordering. Put the butter on it. Slap the seasonings on it. It's my favorite corn I've ever had. Um, and it happens to be here at Disney. So, can't complain about this one. Alright, so 520, 529 each. A, corn, a really delicious corn in the cob. What are we ranking it? Three, two, one. Four point five. Five. I can't hold it up. Five. Why? Why? It's my favorite. Why'd you say four point five? Just for price. For price. You think it should be lower? A little bit lower. Okay. I mean, it's cool. Like, okay. But I think I would pay five dollars, like out of a food truck or something, like a random food truck for I delicious yeah. African street corn. Absolutely. That's why I called it. If, like, if, if I were to find this anywhere, I would pay $5 for this. It is good quality. It's the best quality. Um, yeah, I agree with that. I'll, I'll go with the 4.5 because it may not be everybody's uh, kind of price point. But it's, it's messy, too. It is messy. It's delicious. It is my favorite. I don't know how many times I can say that. Hey, look, now we have African street corn in a show. In a show. Yeah. Another fun tip to keep in mind when you are planning your next vacation, find good seats when you bring your own food so you still feel like you're in the Disney World experience. Uh, Disney Animal Kingdom has lots of fun spots to grab seats. There's a seating area in front of Feathered Friends in Flight, which is where we are right now. There's awesome great shade and then there's views of the beautiful tree and there's lots of beautiful seats here. Um, it gives you a beautiful view and you can see all of the river boats go by like right now. So you get beautiful views of all of the boats that come by and lots of characters. Right now that we are seeing Rafiki and Timon, the tree of life is right there. And then, oh, and Sage is going to do some things. I want to say hi. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> he knows you. I know him. <laughs> Aside from this spot, there is seating behind the drink walla, uh, which is the shade, and there's a nice view of the character boats as well. At the entrance near Carvana Road, there's a little hidden area, um, and there's some seating back there as well. This place is awesome, has awesome seats. Also, almost no one knows about it, uh, and I love that spot as well. That place is awesome. So does Emma. For one of our other cheap snacks here at Disney's Animal Kingdom, we're at the Yakin Yeti Local Food Cafes. They do some breakfast from, from 9 a.m. to 10.30. Uh, they do take a quick 15-minute break to switch over, but starting at 10.45 until 6.30, that's when they do their lunch and dinner. They do have a couple different options here, but even if you travel all the way back around, back here is where you can grab your quality beverages. But it is not quite open yet. This will open on later on, uh, later on during the day, and sometimes uh, only opens up during high capacity uh, times. But now Miranda's in line because we're gonna try the chicken fried rice for $6.99. It's kinda cheap-ish. Ish. Cause I can barely see it. But here's a menu pick. We're getting the fried rice chicken. <laughs> so we got the chicken fried rice for $6.99 from the uh, food market, the Yak and Yeti uh, food market. Uh, it has uh, it has chicken, it has fried rice, and some it looks like some uh, snow peas in there. Some uh, a couple mixed vegetables. It's a pretty healthy size, like for $6.99. I'm actually I was like, oh, this is this is a full meal. It's not just a side. It looks like, I mean, for me, it'd be a full meal because it's a lot of rice. Definitely something you could split with. I don't, I don't know. We'll see how it tastes first. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh. Okay. Decent flavor, not bad. Definitely needs some sauce. Oh, you, oh, you got some soy sauce, though. And you got some uh, sriracha. Try, try with some sauce. <laughs> some sauce. I like saying like that. But. <laughs> it's just a small piece. Definitely um, not much chicken. You know, it's pretty good fried rice. Not super, uh, I don't know, it tastes like fried rice. There's nothing phenomenal about it, but where is the chicken? <laughs> it's very I'm very stressed about, about this chicken. chicken. Okay, okay, fair. Find some chicken. <laughs> Soy sauce was a smart choice. Yeah. There's nothing, yeah, it's nothing crazy about it. It tastes like fried rice. If there is chicken in here, it's very, very small. Pieces like of ground chicken. up almost. But I will say, it's always a bad sign for food if the only way 
to uh, make it level up is if you have to completely devour it with different sauces, right? Yeah. I added some sriracha in here. Miranda, Better? that is the right choice. Okay, I'll give it a Do taste. Do it. Hold on. I can't even see where it's there. It is. There it is. Just, just a dash will do ya. That's the right answer. That was the correct answer. Oh my gosh. That helps. Three, two, one. You went two? I went two. Oh, I went four. There's no chicken. It is. Oh, okay, that's true. It tastes fine. I always put soy sauce on every rice that I get, basically, uh, if it requires a soy sauce, uh, Asian, Chinese, all of that. Um, so I can get past that. I can't get behind, like, it's fine. But also, I'm just really mad there's no chicken. And for $6.99, there's no chicken. It's huge. It that's my only thing. That's what. That's why I think it might be worth the price because, yeah, you might have to cover. You might have to like add some additional like flavors, but and yes, the, the chicken is mad is 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 not ideal. But it, it is a huge size. You you and I could split this and still have some left over. Oh yeah, Probably. easily. Oh yeah, for a snack. Absolutely, which is why that that's a four for me. This just in, the chicken is found. Literally, it is like little baby. I found it first. <laughs> yes, Mar yes, every yes, everybody should know Miranda found the chicken first. Just stating the facts. Okay, all right, but still, look at it. Like, so interesting. There's so very I very small. Very small. And our biggest tip is just to look for inexpensive dining options here at here at the park. There's lots of breakfast options. You can go to Starbucks, you can get a sandwich for like less than seven dollars. Um, you can go to Pongu Pongu. You can go uh, get breakfast sandwiches. There Whoa. go the macaws. The macaws just flew over, flew over us. Hello. Hello. You can also get a breakfast sandwich at the Tamu Tamu Refreshments and I think a couple other places throughout the park as well. Uh, those are super cheap options. Good, healthy, options for breakfast uh, keeps you within budget. Yeah. yeah. You can also find inexpensive table service options here at the parks. Now, uh, there are only four sit-down options available here at Animal Kingdom, and the it's surprisingly the most inexpensive uh, a table service is actually the Rainforest Cafe. But with that being said, we still have one more cheap snack to try. And uh, this one's kind of heavy. This one's a little heavy. I'm excited though. <laughs> I what? And last but not least, we have the Eight Spoons Cafe. Here we are grabbing the baked macaroni and cheese with pulled pork for six seventy nine. This is a hefty, uh, hearty dish. This is here right next to the Tree of Life, and this is also right across from where you can meet Mickey and Minnie, Safari Mickey and Minnie to be specific, but we are here at the Eight Spoon Cafe grabbing the baked macaroni and cheese for four forty nine. dollars A couple of honorable mentions that are not badly priced either. Uh, the pulled pork jelly donut sandwich just sounds absolutely intriguing and I will be trying that at some point in time. And there's also a uh, baked macaroni and cheese served with pulled pork for $6.79. Uh, both all great options. We're just getting that cheaper option of the regular baked macaroni and cheese, uh, less than $5. Not too bad. Let's give it a taste. So if you are getting something from Eight Spoon Cafe, right across from Eight Spoon Cafe, uh, to the right of the Adventurer's Outpost, there is a fun, you know, small little seating area right back here. It is directly connected to Flame Tree uh, Barbecue. Hey, come this way. Uh, like I said, I, I, I never sit down to eat here. And when I came back here for the first time, I'm like, whoa, this place is so massive and but but peaceful so we got the normal baked mac and cheese for four dollars and 49 cents and it's better taste delicious because there's almost nothing there's not a lot in here here we go ready yes it's not very cheesy not much flavor it's pretty bland it needs some salt some pepper <laughs> Some cheese. I feel like this. I feel like this mac and cheese, like this let per, me down. personally, hurt you. It really did. It did. I love mac and cheese, and this is quite rude. So yeah. So yeah, it, Miranda's absolutely right. Uh, there's definitely a lack of seasoning, uh, a lack of flavor. The texture is kind of weird. I mean, like I we, got my ratings. So. We, yeah, no, we each had two bites, and it's almost gone. Yeah. Uh, and again, we realize this is a snack. But uh, I think there are better snacks at the parks. Yes, absolutely. Here we go. 
On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, you went one. Oh, I'm being mean. It did, it did affect you. It attacked me It did attack. <laughs> and I didn't appreciate it, so. I feel like families, like kids specifically, younglings would love this. <laughs> yeah. uh, would, would not love this, but would tolerate it. Yeah. Because they're familiar with it. But I, I do understand the one. Yeah. Uh, wow, that was a thing that happened. We, we, we started off so well. Very well. And then ended so poorly. Yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, how, how, how did you feel our day went? I felt like it agreed. It started really well. Ended on a low. Uh, but that's okay. You know, we're giving you a, the cheapest snacks and giving our honest review. So. Yeah, yeah. And, and I feel like a lot of these snacks are accessible uh, and they are pretty cheap. Um, when I, when I, now, when we say cheap, we mean per Disney price standards. Yes. Cheap to that, to that extent. But I think the overall winner of, uh, I guess cheapest snack is it worth it uh for the for this cheapest snack was the uh was the corn on the cob with the african spices yes uh from uh, harambe market from harambe market i think that one that that one lucked out with like a what was it 9.5 yes because of your 0.5 i gave it a, point, a negative 0.5 <laughs> but I, it, it deserves a five it is my favorite snack here in animal kingdom yeah, so yeah. Now, don't forget each park still has that generic disney food these disney snacks are more Magic Kingdom specific, but you can still grab them here at Animal Kingdom, for example. You can get the Mickey pretzel. For $7.50. The Mickey ice cream bar. For $6.29. Mickey ice cream sandwich. For $6.29. And popcorn. For $5.50. Yeah. Yeah, okay, but again, still generic. Still generic, but still, you know, D Disney World snacks that are cheap. Yes. What are your final thoughts, Miranda? My final thoughts are I would like more corn. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, okay, that's that's fair. No, we did find some fantastic snacks today. Some that are cheap, uh, or most, uh, sorry, all of them that are cheap for the Disney side of things, Disney, I guess, pricing yes. scale. I do think I could exist, though, on just cheap snacks all day in the parks. That's fair. I don't think I would ever have to stop for, like, a full meal. Yes, agreed. I could always do a quick service, fast snacks, quick snacks, and snack, ride, snack, ride. That's my that's, mentality. That's how I operate. Well, you forgot the cocktail. Cocktail. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Now go watch us try the worst snacks at every Disney World park. Yes. Woo! Bye.